A species of roundworms from the Ice Age have come back to life after being defrosted by scientists in Germany. The team from the Institute of Zoology at the University of Cologne found that the 46,000-year-old nematode found in Siberian permafrost started crawling out of a piece of soil once thawed. Scientists say the worms were able to preserve their internal sugar levels, which helped them protect their DNA and proteins during the long rusting stage. Adding the study could one day improve conservation efforts for a number of endangered species as the Earth's climate changes. This all started when our Russian colleagues uh, dug up uh, a bit of permafrost um, for their studies. And they found that after thawing this, um, some nematodes crawled out of it. So uh, they knew that this um, piece of soil had been frozen for a very long time and then used radiocarbon dating later to determine that it's actually been frozen for 46,000 years. And then it's, of course, kind of a, a miracle. Well, it's not a miracle, but it's kind of a, a super fascinating finding to suddenly see life living animals crawling out of a piece of soil that has been deep frozen for 46,000 years. Of course, they could have their own gut microbiome and maybe there could something dangerous for, uh, for humans in there, but I, I don't think so right away. Um, but of course, it's, it's very relevant because it's not only these nematodes thawing, it's bacteria that are thawing. Um, and, and there could be dangerous things hidden in there. Um, but I, you know, I don't want to, you know, raise an alarm or something in, in this regard. It's, um, it's something that's possible. And with COVID, we all saw what can happen very suddenly. Uh, but I wouldn't say there's like an in, imminent danger now of that these worms bring some bacteria that suddenly start killing humans. We live in times with, with, with of global change, and these animals, yeah, they are um, adapted to very extreme environments, so they can completely freeze. And in the same group of species, we, uh, uh, we, we also find some that which can completely desiccate, so lose all water. So that's the same process. And we are working on them in these dry environments here. And if you think about extreme environments and then you know look outside in Greece, everything is burning, everything is getting hotter and warmer. The whole uh, earth seems to be moving to, to a more extreme environment. And, and I think by studying these species, comparing their genomes and see how they adapted to these extreme conditions. We can learn a lot about conservation biology. Uh, we can learn things that could inform us to maybe save um, endangered species um, and, and think about protection measures and, and all these things.